Hey, I have a rather interesting story I thought you might enjoy hearing about. This discovery that they just made of a 12,000-year-old bird flutes um, discovered in the Hula Valley. And they give this scripture, The birds of the sky dwell beside them and sing among the foliage. That's Psalm 104, 12. And this is from Israel 365 News. And it says, A newspaper by Dr. Laurent Devin, a postdoctoral fellow at the Hebrew University of Jerusalem and the CRIF, um, it's something Francois uh, Jerusalem and Dr. Jose Miguel Tejero, the University of Vienna and the University of Barcelona, Spain, published in the prestigious journal Nature Scientific Report, uncovers that rare prehistorical objects found in the Hula Valley in northern Israel, crafted 12,000 years ago, functioned as miniature flutes and was perhaps used for hunting, music, or some form of communication with the birds. I have another theory about that because I know that the Romans used to use whistles against their enemies and they would be these dragons that they would they would hold on a pole and it was like a kite and it sucked air through it kind of like a wind sock but it would let out this shrill shrill uh, tone that would just scare the dickens out of the enemy that they were coming against and this thing that they're saying is an ancient flute is this little tiny stick with the holes in it could definitely be a tool of war in my mind that they used. But the Ainan Ain Malaha site in the Hula Valley in northern Israel was first excavated by a French mission since 1955 and later in 1996 through 2005 by a joint team from the CRIF and the Israel Antiquities Authority directed by Francois Valla of the Centre National de Recherche Scientifique, CNRS, and Dr. Hamoudi Kaleli of the IAA. In the settlement, circular structures, homes of hunter-gatherers, the bones of a variety of animal species, including birds, were found. So I guess that's why they think it's a bird flute or a bird call. As part of the material culture study and funerary offerings in this location, from the final Natufian period 12,000 years ago, Dr. Laurent Devin examined the bones of birds that were recovered by the excavators. According to Professor Tal Simmons of Virginia Commonwealth University, most of them are wintering waterfowl. Dr. Devin noticed marks on seven tiny wing bones of Eurasian coots and Eurasian teals. In collaboration with Dr. Jose Miguel Tejero, he closely examined these marks and realized they are very tiny holes bored into the hollow bones. To figure out how the objects were used, the team worked with researchers at the CNRS, Aurelia uh, Bourbon and Oliver Turney, to fashion replicas of the originals as part of an experiment carried out on the replica. They discovered that the instruments produced different sounds, and it was concluded that they are flutes. When the sounds were compared with the calls of dozens of bird species that were found, in this area, they proved to resemble those of birds of prey, the Eurasian sparrowhawk and the common kestrel. The kestrel is just kind of a small hawk, 
One of the theories is that people equipped with the flutes took up a position near waterfowl. When the sparrowhawks and kestrels, attracted by the calls produced by the whistle, approached the waterfowl, took wing, and flew off in a variety of different directions, making them easier to catch. It also seems likely that in the ensuing confusion, the birds of prey themselves could be trapped. Their claws had several uses, including ornaments and to pierce bones for, to produce new whistles. It is also possible that the sounds produced by the flutes serve different social, cultural, symbolic functions for the hunter-gatherers in this area they researched. This finding joins other testimonies as to the complexity of the world of sound of the people of the Natufian culture, said Dana Shaham, a doctoral fellow from the Hebrew University of Jerusalem, whose research specialty is ancient art. One of the flutes was discovered complete. So far as it is known, it is the only one in the world in this state of preservation. The replicas produce the same sounds that the hunter-gatherers may have made 12,000 years ago. According to Dr. Kaleli of the Israel Antiquities Authority, if the flutes were used for hunting, then this is the earliest evidence of the use of the sound in hunting. In most sites from the same period as Enan, these instruments deteriorated and vanished. Consequently, they were found as a result of the careful and gentle sieving excavation finds uh, using water. This discovery provides important new information on hunting methods and supplements the various prehistorical tools that mark the start of the transition from agriculture and the cultivation of plants and animals in the southern Levant. Professor Ivka Rabinovich of the Institute of Archaeology and Scientific Director of National Natural History Collections at the Hebrew University, where research is conducted on the remains of animals from the Enan Ein Malaha site, says the current research shows just how important it is to preserve the cultural finds uncovered during excavations, which continue to yield new insights and research directions into human culture thanks to new methods and to collaboration among scholars in different disciplines. She adds that waterfowl are extremely widespread and represented by entire skeletons, whereas most of the remains of birds of prey are their talons. The flutes were found at the site in several concentrations, evidence of different areas of activity. So I'll show you a couple of pictures and then they played uh, replicas of these so-called flutes.